Hello everyone, we are Edorat, a black trash metal band from Austria. We were asked by Global Metal TV to talk a little bit about the situation with Corona in Austria. Cheers. We are in mid of June today and we have seen each other since March. This year the first time now. So uh, the Corona lockdown also infected us as a band because we released our next record, The Final Sin, on the 1st of May. And of course we had a lot of release shows planned, touring plans for a year. And of course we had to stop them and cancel them. So we delayed them until winter this year, beginning of next year. Um, the Corona situation as a band uh, was in that way that we had to stop also practicing. We have, as I told before, we've never seen us before uh, since March now. Yes, uh, for the whole scene in Austria, uh, we are only one band, of course, uh, and all the other bands had the same situation. Yeah? All the shows were cancelled, all the, all the venues had to stop everything from March on. Um, right now, because our politics reacted really fast, um, things are getting back to normal. Uh, the shops are opened again, the jobs, the people are working again, uh, so daily life comes in, the, in, in a normal way back to, to Austrian people. Uh, what we do not know right now is if there will be a second wave. So what could happen also in Austria, what would affect us as a band, but also the economic of, of the whole country, is that the second wave of Corona, of COVID-19 pandemic, would stop all the, all the normal things again. I think that would be a really problem. Um, one of the reasons why we could not meet each other, meet each other is that we are, um, we are living in, in whole Austria. My bandmates, for example, Mario, our bass player, and Craig, our guitar player, they're living in Vienna. Uh, where Thomas, our drummer, is living in Graz, that's about 200 kilometers away from Vienna, and our practicing room and my living place is in southern Austria. So all the distances are about three to 400 kilometers, so it was no way possible that we meet, meet each other since March. Now we have our uh, first practice, band practice yes. since, since rehearsal, thank you, since, the, outp uh, since the, the outbreak of the Corona pandemic. Yes, so maybe Mario, uh, you live and work in Vienna, it's the biggest, it's the main city of Austria. Um, how was the situation according to social life, according to your job? Yeah, yeah, it was it was really really bad, and it happened really fast. So in in March, when the lockdown uh, was set, uh, it was there were no people on the streets. It was uh, everyone had to stay at home. Uh, the work uh, was closed for some people, and uh, yeah, it, it was a really um, strange situation, I would say. Um, uh, you don't ha uh, was allowed to, to, to meet with your friends, you have to stay at home. It was really a bad situation. Um, yes. What about your health? Did you, did you uh, recognize something on your, on your own? No, I'm, I'm healthy, yeah. my girlfriend is healthy, everyone I know is healthy, so there was no uh, virus with in my friends. So, yeah, okay, yeah. great. And Craig? How was it in your situation? It's funny because I experienced a different thing. I experienced that the people in Vienna um, kept these distance regulations, but they don't stay at home. Mm -hmm. They didn't stay at home. Mm -hmm. Every park was full of people. All the time? Every, yeah. Okay. When the weather was good, every, everyone was outside. Okay. I myself was in quarantine for two weeks. Yeah. I looked out the window and saw, saw all these people yeah. having fun outside. Uh, what was the reason that you had you had to go to quarantine these um, two weeks? A colleague, yeah, working colleague, yeah. was tested positive. Okay, and I was sick at the same time, so I called yeah. the hotline. Yeah, because I wanted a test. Okay, to be sure if I have it or not. Mm -hmm. And then they sent me home. Yeah, but what you told me is that you really never got tested. Yeah, that's so right. So you are. I waited at home and waited and waited, yeah. and I called again. Yeah. And said, "Where's my test?" Yeah. And then. Uh, 
uh, doctor called me and yes. she said, no, you won't get a test because it's too long ago. Okay. So you won't be yeah. positive anymore. That was also a situation I recognized a lot of, often in southern Austria that I knew people, I know people uh, that they had <coughs> those um, symptoms of, of that was that was declared by the, by the media and by the press and by the politics. They called doctors and they never were tested. So what we really don't know is how many people are were really infected or are really infected because really not everyone got tested and not everyone gets tested right now, even if you have symptoms. So maybe that's also some strange and some bad thing about that, that uh, yes, on the one hand, the politics reacted fast and locked down and shut down the whole system, the whole Austria, whole music scene, whole economic scene, which that has a negative impact in the future, not only for Austria, but for the whole world, I think. Uh, but you don't really know and you're not really sure if, if the the numbers that you get through the politics and the media are the correct ones. That's really a problem, I think, and that's what all you recognized mm -hmm. in your case because you had those symptoms. Yeah. Yeah. And I know people that had the symptoms as well and never got tested. Um, we three are in a normal daily job life, yeah, but our drummer Thomas, he is finishing his studies right now. What was the situation at, at university? Yeah, of course, the university completely locked down. There was, everything was held online. Yeah. But I'm really at the end, and for me, the Corona crisis had no big impact. In fact, it was I really enjoyed the quarantine. I read tons of books, yeah. played computer, mm -hmm. managed other stuff. So I really enjoyed being at home two months, no social yeah. responsibility. Just enjoy yourself. So, and I have no big balcony or anything. I just was in my <laughs> 30 yeah. square meters apartment. It was for me. It was yeah. pretty fine. But but, but right. of course, the university was down. Yeah. I think not really exams was not happening, mm. labs were not happening. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Thomas, you also play in a lot of different bands because drummers are good drummers are a rare thing also in Austria. Uh, how is the how is the impact to your other bands? Um yeah. Every band as you already said was yeah. completely forced to stop everything. Yeah. So we had some touring plans in England and of course they were cancelled because yeah. the flights were cancelled. Yeah. All festival appearances were yeah, moved to next year in the yeah. best case. A lot of them were cancelled yeah. at all. So I think it was the same for everyone. So what I wanted to do, to do with this question is, uh, I think only uh, saying we are that poor, we are, we are not able to, to, to play our shows is, is, not, is not a reality. It's, it's yeah. not a thing because what happened with the COVID-19 pandemic is happening to everyone. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think that it's necessary now that everyone talks about how poor they are and how poor we are because we could not play our shows that were planned because, yeah, that's happening to everyone. Yeah. It's also it the, the venues. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they don't uh, do concerts now. Yeah. So. And the good thing in time of internet and all the stuff, you can make the release possible yeah. even without going out and without yeah. playing shows. So. Yes, that's what, yeah, that was also one thing we decided with our label Art Gets Records uh, that we will not delay our release. We did it as planned on the 1st of May. Yeah, so the final scene is out. Yeah? You, you find it in the internet, you can order it also at our own shop. Yeah? The only thing was cancelled is, of course, bad for our promotion are the shows, but we will do them later. Yeah? Yeah. And this is happening to our band. Maybe we are now in the lucky situation that we are not uh, that we don't live from our music uh, we all have our jobs we have our income and we are we four are lucky because we did not have that negative impact to our jobs to our mm. daily lives so uh, i think there are a lot of people that really really also in the music scene that have a more yeah really worse situation let's think of all those stagehands of all those venue workers of all those promoters of the bands that really live from playing live not because you know today you don't live from selling CDs as, as a band in this genre as an extreme metal scene. You live from playing live, and of course. So let's think of those people. Yeah? And if you guys want to support those bands you like, it's now the time to buy some merchandise. Yeah, to support them on the internet, to buy some CDs. Yeah, don't wait for them for the shows. You don't. You never know when these shows will happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can support them with really buying one CD, buying one shirt. Uh, of course, we are included in that, <laughs> in, that, in that case. So, what is important? Stay safe, yeah? 
see what the politics and what the experts say, how you have to react in this situation. We never know if this is good, if this is bad, but we have to stay together. Yeah? And we have to, to make sure that we all go out of this situation as soon as possible. And I think for that we have, work to, we have to work together. So thank you for watching and listening. Yeah? Check out our band. To say again, we're Irod from Austria. We play some fine black trash metal. And we have released our actor record on 1st May. It's called The Final Sin and you find it on the internet on our shop at Bandcamp. Stay safe. Cheers.